Jersey Crypto here. Shout out to all you Jersey Crypto here fans. Shout out to all you Crypto Gains fans. All right. And then as far as those are just things I came up with. As far as the people that like me, I don't consider you a fan. I consider you a friend. All right. Let's talk Web3. There's not much to talk about with the markets. If you haven't made your move yet, it's probably too late. So keep what you got, add to your bags, and let's move on. We can't be crying about it, all right? Um, I'm going to bring up a guy that it's a ton of controversy behind this guy, all right? Trump. Tr everyone knows already Trump is like behind Rumble. It's a new up and coming social media platform that is going to be uncensored or it's already happening, whatever. Right? I don't know that much about that. But what I do know is that Trump blamed losing the election on what? Social media on Google, on Facebook, probably on Instagram, definitely on Twitter because Twitter like banned his account, you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't have any opinion on any of that, whether it happened or not, but his own opinion is what we're gonna focus on. Now, Trump is a global businessman. He has hotels everywhere. He sees a global market, but he also knows what a global threat is to himself. And a threat is something with power. A big threat is something with more power than you. And if he wants to blame social media for him losing the election, being that he was president, the man of, with all the power then what has the most power in the world social media social media directs everything it controls the way people communicate in the most efficient way possible you can you can post whatever you're thinking they might take it down whatever but you know depending on what it is but you can put it out there now, Jack Dorsey leaves Twitter. Uh, Trump is trying to front run an uh, uncensored social media platform, which is a news outlet. Social media is news as well. Social media is marketing. Social media runs the markets. It chooses the direction. Now, the governments have been trying to crack down on social media, and it's hard to crack down on something that has more power than you. Because social media is dictating the way people think more than the government. The government's been losing power for a couple decades. And in the last 10 years, they've lost a ton of power. So... What do you do when the governments, ultimately, at the end of the day, <coughs> are, are trying to create this legal battle against you? Jack Dorsey. Um, Google is a governance. Google did it right from the beginning. Actually, Google, the way they're doing it, being that they're a governance and there's no single entity, it's way harder to, to gun down Google. Twitter needs to become more of a governance uh, ran social media company in order to do what they want to do. It is what it is. Facebook's moving on to the metaverse. They're like, we're just going to develop the newest shit, whatever. But all these big companies that are able to be targeted, because that's another thing that crypto solves 
they they those those people with those ambitious minds that have basically developed these companies they're going to move on with their ambition they're going to move on and guess what they're going to do they're going to take their vision they're going to spread it out amongst uh, decentralized technology and then they're not to blame they're not to blame Satoshi Nakamoto is probably one of the most powerful men in the world, even if he's dead. What he created and the amount of attention that it got, and now it's here to stay, is, is going to make the biggest impact as far as social media, the way currencies are. And everything that you know as far as economics and communication. It's going to make the biggest impact. Is it going to take over 100% right now? No. But there's CEOs of companies that are social media platforms that have so much stress that they're getting pushed out of their high position for no reason other than the government's targeting them and blaming them. But not only that, begging them for a say the government if you look at those like congress meetings and all this and that they're begging them what are you going to put in place that allows us to speak <laughs> I'm not saying it's right or wrong either way but I'm just saying what's going on now what does web 3 do it allows people to put their thoughts out there and, and you don't necessarily need to own that thought the real, the real creation is something that is let loose and, and taken over by everyone. And you're going to feel just as good about what you created because it's being used by everyone. And that's what the blockchain allows you to do. It allows you to develop something. And then your ownership is whatever you buy into it. So what these currencies are doing is they're owning some of the currency. And then depending on the value of your own thought and, and the amount of work that you put into your own thought, you can decide to own a nice chunk of that thought, and, but you allow other people to own it too. It's called sharing. It's called sharing. So now these CEOs, Google's got the governance. So I don't know what's going to happen with Google. But Jack Dorsey, is he going to stop? He's not going to stop. He's going to keep creating. He's going to keep making his thoughts come true. But he's going to offer them on the blockchain. You think he's giving up on technology and communication? No. There's no way. Is he going to probably be more creative than he's been in, you know, the past five years to maybe a decade? I don't even know how long Twitter's been around, but yeah, he's probably going to be way more creative and his thoughts are going to be shared. So Web3, the development, the, the... That's why I that's why I picked GitHub. Now, I'm Mr. Sea Coin. I'm all about it. All about it. That hasn't changed. GitHub and Sea Coin have done hackathons. GitHub has probably done funding for Sea Coin through their Wait, am I saying GitHub or Getcoin? It doesn't matter because they're the same thing. In my mind, GetHub is using GetCoin to tap into crypto money and offer more funding through GetHub because if you go onto GetCoin's website and you go earn money, where does it send you? To GetHub. It's that easy. Now, GetHub is one of the biggest entities 
or whatever you want to call it for producing development getting more developers into the space to create these applications now if they're getting money through getcoin as well as whatever what other streams of revenue they have then that just maximizes the amount of money coming in getcoin has vitalik's good word for a reason he didn't bring him up for no reason and Ccoin and GitHub or GetCoin are in cahoots with each other because they're, they have the same goal it's decentralization they work together they share thoughts we're focused on the money they're focused on the on the goals their own goals and they're offering those goals to all of us. We get to buy a piece of the goal. Unless you're go jumping in and starting to develop with them, the only thing you can do is buy a piece of it and contribute in that sense. So what happens when you have a goal? There's really productive good times where you're working hard, you're getting a lot done, and then there's times that you feel like you're moving backwards. A lot like a market, a lot like the crypto market. So one, you're experiencing people's doubt in the market itself, but you're also experiencing the, the doubt and everything else that the, the people developing all this face. And all of it contributes to each other. And then when they're working hard, they're putting out good marketing because they have something to market and they have something to, to tell us that's really good. And then you have people with big money coming in because they're like, oh, wow, they're really doing something. Let me put big money in. And then everyone's like, oh, well, I got to buy that. I gotta buy. It's real. It's real. They started a... Uh, which, you know, it's not a big deal or anything, but they started a, a see a coin like subreddit on me. <clears throat> throw your comments, throw your thoughts in there if you're a Reddit person. And, uh, you know, someone said, which I love the criticisms because it allows me to find out what people think about what I could change and I consider that, but it doesn't stop me from, from saying whatever I want, you know, but it is good to see another side, to have a different perspective. I take a positive, I react positively to that stuff, unless it's just basically no nonsense trying to shame for no reason, like that doesn't get anywhere, you know what I mean, which I don't take to heart either because it's, there's no substance to it. But if you can really decipher Algorand, baby. No, that was just their event, Decipher. If you can pick out the on-ramps, be part of the governance, own a piece of the development that's directly impacting the amount of funds and showing how much actual growth is going on in this ecosystem. Gitcoin. Gitcoin's doing that. Algorand's doing that. Algorand's allowing other things to build on top of them and whatever you want to build, you can build. See a, coin, see a coin's doing the same thing and it's allowing all the storage for that I wouldn't be surprised if Algorand starts storing all their stuff on see a coin it's decentralized you could use it it's a technology it's one of the best at delegating the cost of, of cloud storage there's a lot of cost in cloud storage and they delegate that cost very well they distribute that cost just as well as they distribute your encrypted data to keep it very secure. 
I have no doubt in my holdings of Seacoin. I have no doubt in my holdings of Algorand. And I have no doubt in my, my growing bag of GetCoin. I have no doubt in my bag of um, Rarible. Because no matter what, like, this is the reason why NFTs are down right now. One, people came in, they spent too much money on them. You know what I mean? You can't be buying NFTs for more money than the value of some of, like, the, the most impactful art in the world. You know what I mean? Like... It just doesn't make sense. No matter how much effort you put in, there's not enough history. Art has to do with history as well. There's certain fundamentals of art that you need to understand. Now, I dip my fingers into NFTs on Algorand because it's cheap to do transactions. And I very soon after found out that a lot of the artists don't understand the history of art. If you're an artist... One of the, the the only reason to go to school for art is if you don't have enough direction with understanding the history of of art in order to create value in your pieces. It's a business as well. If you don't think that probably 95, 98% of valuable art there wasn't any thought behind creating value in that art, then you don't know how money works. The only thing that, even memes, there's thoughts behind memes. There's a predetermination of the reaction. You need to predetermine in order to create value. This is it's this is a mindset video. You know what I'm saying? Like it when when prices are down, if you have the right mindset, there isn't doubt. There isn't fear. There's productive thought. There's more planning. There's more foresight. Now get ready. Because whether it's one week, two weeks, a month, there are more crypto gains to be had, baby. So get to it.